okay now after this uh, so the, when we uh, make a layout put a rope uh, so what we will we'll give some chalk powder or any kind of white color or another color powder to uh, show the line or reference line in the ground so then we uh, because while working we can keep the rope right but sometimes we can keep also but if it, is, if it is problematic for the employers labors then they can move and they can keep the chalk powder or something like that okay okay now here is the roof beam and slab details we can see here so after building after the column is made so we have to move to the uh, roof beam and the slab details here so this process given because there will be no slab over here like for the first floor second floor and all that okay so these are the roof beam we have given so I, we have given the size of the roof beam so this is the extra top bar so okay this is the main bar which will be the downside and we have to give a block of like uh, three inch and then we'll give the cracked bar and the beside of the cracked bar there will be uh, extra top bar okay so this will be like we are given here after 12 inch every 12 inch there will be one main bar and the between the two main bar there will be one cracked bar okay and that will be at the height of the three inch up of it and at the uh, so after on the side of it between it there will be extra top bar okay uh, so like my client wanted to know he asked me like everyone will like to know that so what is this l by 2 l by 4 and all these things so like uh, at the middle of the uh, middle of the slab or middle of the like beam also so at the middle the the maximum load will be at the downside like if long if anything is like uh, horizontally so if the pressure is given so the maximum load will be in the middle of it at the bottom side right so that means we don't need um, uh, extra rods at the between of it so how do we have to do the, cal the calculation so like the total length we have to divide it by 4 so the first length will be length divided by 2 the uh, uh, like divided by 2 which means the 2 part uh, 4 part of will be four, uh, 1 part of 4 will be this side 1 part of 4 will be this side and the 2 part will be this side okay okay uh, there is a mistake i think okay i think the problem is solved now the two part will be over here and the one part and one part will be this side so all the uh, steel the rods will be over here but at the middle of it there will be no rods so we don't need here okay but we have to make sure when we make the joint of rod we can put it over here at this side we can make any we can't make any joint of the rods okay this steel and the slab thickness will be 5 inch and the here also so this is uh, I have designed a one way slab so this is a one way slab that is why we just need a main bar and the top bar over here we don't need this kind of bar uh, this side okay so this is the main bar and the top bar we have given here uh, so this is the ex uh, section of the building you can see so from the ground level it will be 1.6 feet up the floor level will be then the 7 feet of entrance and the 10th feet of the height of the first floor the first floor of the building and the staircase we can see here those uh, staircase details is given somewhere else here so now we have 3 feet height after the 7 feet of it and 5 inch of the slab and the 10 feet of the building so same everything like that we have given it then the 10 feet 10 feet 10 feet and the 8 feet of the uh, the staircase that the last one the floor level uh, roof